and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the brand new heavyweight cards. They are not in packs, of course, yet, because EA is always late with the actual content, although the packs will probably be out already. So if you're coming over to the store to special offers, training currency, they have not raised the price yet, which is pretty good because currently the lowest overalls are 86s. So at the moment, the only way you lose on the reroll set is by using the 80s, by pulling 86. So at the moment, it's still a viable reroll set, especially if they drop 89s. I do not believe today's heavyweights are 89s though. I think they're all 88s. The new heavyweights are Tyron Smith and I believe Calais Campbell. Calais Campbell is the end for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Tyron Smith's the left tackle for the Cowboys. The left tackle actually would be huge for my team considering I kind of want to change Joe Staley out. I was going to go with Munoz, but at the moment, he's a lot more expensive than I think Tyron Smith will be. And I already have some Cowboys on the line anyways. I have Travis Frederick and Nat, so could be useful there. I want to power up for... Oh, wait, did I quick sell Travis Frederick? Never mind, I put him into the exchange set. Take that back. But let's go see if the, the set even shows yet, but you know, it never really does right away. Come over to missions, go down to heavyweights. If you go to new in the training store, this is where I've been seeing it. Flashback release forward shows, but of course heavyweights don't. I'm gonna back in and out real quick. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit the sub button. We're at about 7.6K right now. We're working our way towards 8K and then towards 10K for the subscriber special. Also, if you haven't already, hit the like button. I know it's a content video, so let's get 100 likes in this video. Hopefully, I'm not a little late on this, but I usually am by a few minutes. Now, let's go back in real quick. New in the training store. No heavyweight release yet, but I imagine they're on the block already. It's always really late for some reason. Let's go over to go check it out. Go over to auction house. As a whole, the heavyweight promo I have been a fan of for the last two years. Flashbacks, not so much. So like you see, flashbacks are kind of like the slow promo. Almost every card is slow and not usable. Heavyweights, on the other hand, though, are typically linemen, defensive linemen. Mm, I don't want to see fullbacks. That's really about it. But the point is there is that they're actually they're useful positions that we need. We need new linemen. We need new defensive linemen. But in terms of flashbacks, they give us slower players. So there's really been no use for them. Now they are on the cheaper side, as you guys can see, the majority of the heavyweights. And as every new card comes out, people are obviously going to pull more of these. So the best time to get these heavyweights would be right now, every day, like every 10.30 on a Wednesday when they do drop would be the best time to pull them. Although the ones you do lose on would be Cameron Hayward, Unique Ngakwe, Ali Marpet, Patrick, Ricard, Linville Joseph, and is there another 86? I believe those are the only ones. If you pull an 87, you make back training. An 88, obviously, you make back training. If they do drop an 89 to the packs within the next week or so, you will be making training back on those. Although the only issue with that is that I think if they do drop 89s, the price of the pack might go up because obviously they can't keep increasing the overall without increasing the training value because they did that to be an easy no-brainer reroll set now if we head back let's head down and see if we see anything yet in the store you know it's team all newest let's see if we find anything i'm gonna go check the training in the store again because obviously these are never up right away which is kind of frustrating i don't know what it is with you know they, they take the bundles very seriously like those are out at 10 30 on the dot these typically do come out but the only issue is that they're never in packs right away, which is kind of frustrating for people who open them right at 1030 because you can never really know if they are going to be out at that exact moment. Let's go back to the auction house and check it out again. Tyron Smith might be an addition to my team. He has cool card art, probably going to have some really good stats. Always one of the best left tackles in the game, but I'm not entirely sure just yet because I have to see his price. I imagine he'll probably come down to about 120k, which would make him very useful. I will not be using Calais Campbell though because I do have Aaron Donald and I do have mm, Demarcus Lawrence blank there for a second go to heavyweights nothing still of course now they did drop Marshall Yonder this week well, last week too which is another lineman they just recently dropped although I wasn't a fan of his stats in comparison to Larry Allen so it comes down to how Tyron um Tyron Smith compares to Anthony Munoz but there's obviously going to be a much bigger price difference because Munoz is like a 300k ish uh what's called Larry Allen is about 180 okay so Tyron Smith is finally up as you guys can see here he do has the neck roll pad that's what it's called which is pretty cool actually it's like some old school fullback kind of uni right there and i like the card out on the card looks kind of like a robot there he's got he's six foot five which is really huge actually i don't know how big that is compared to some of my other linemen i guess that's kind of the standard he's got 90 strength which is huge 86 awareness 83 pass blocking 86 pass block power 84 pass block finesse 84 run block 81 run block power and 86 run block finesse i don't really like these stats actually i'm gonna compare him to joe staley real quick 
I'm not, I could be wrong, but I don't think those stats are too great. It's good. Of course, gonna lag real quick. Okay, so yeah, no, those stats are not great at all. He beats Joe Staley by strength on three, awareness by one, and pass block. He does beat him in pass block by quite a bit, of, quite a bit there, but his run block is way worse. Joe Staley could be a threshold run blocker if you chem him up. Tyron's no chem. Okay, so Tyron Smith is an L. Definitely will not be taken. Let me see what his other stats are. Although lead block won't really matter for a left tackle. I still like to see impact and lead blocking. Impact blocking is an 83, but that's similar with Joe Staley also. And let's see, lead block, lead block, lead block. So they gave him an 81 lead block, which I still find weird as a left tackle. I guess it really depends on what play you run. I don't know if Madden constitutes a lead block as if he doesn't block anyone, he runs up field to the secondary. I don't know if that counts as a lead block if it's not a designed run where someone has to pull. I don't really know how that works. But yeah, the stats are not too great because if you chem him up and you power him up all the way, he might just barely hit pass block power threshold, but nothing else will hit it at all. Like not even close. Run block is on the lower side for a left tackle, which isn't horrible because he is the blind side left tackle. But pass blocking should be a lot higher than if his run block's not gonna be great. He's not a bad card at all by any means, but Joe Staley for the price, I think I'd rather just stick with him. I do run I care about run blocking a little more. I don't pass too often. So that's really not gonna be too beneficial to me. Would I recommend him? If he's below 130K, like Marshall Yonda is right here, I would recommend him, but not over Joe Staley. Like I think I'm just gonna I might have to go with Munoz as a whole over Joe Staley in general and Tyron Smith, but obviously they're both great cards, but it depends on the price. I thought he'd be better. Tyron Smith is usually very overpowered at left tackle, so it's kind of upsetting to see that he didn't get the stats he should have gotten, because now I'm obviously not gonna be able to use him. I mean, I could if I get him, if I got him Nat or something, but you typically don't get heavyweight Nats. So now we're looking for, what's his name? Calais Campbell, which again, I can't imagine he's gonna be that great all either, considering there's better ends in the game right now. There's some pretty good ends in the game right now as a whole. Linemen are a little different because you can't really, there's not much to compare them to, but ends, ends, there's plenty. There's Donald, Reggie White, Demarcus Lawrence, Tyre. Oh, there we go. Calais Campbell, 88 overall. He does have the cancel out chem, whatever that means. I, I don't, I haven't really went into chems too much yet, so I don't really know, but his stats are actually really good. I can see them off the bat, uh, bat here. He's six foot eight. So that's really, it's huge. Wow. 67 speed, 77 Excel. So he's on the slower side, but that is because he's like 30 something. He's a much older left end in the league. He's a vet. This is how veteran cards should look right here. He's got 86 strength, 87 tackle, 89 play rec, 88 block shed, 82 power move, and 83 finesse move. So if you compare him real quick to the Marcus Lawrence, he actually stacks up really well. So speed wise and acceleration wise, he's obviously on the slower side, but he's a lot bigger. I don't know how much that, I like in Madden logic, I don't know how much that really affects things, but he's 86 strength, so he's a lot stronger, 87 tackle, 89 play rec, and 88 block shed. So he is a block shed, play rec, tackle, potentially a threshold guy if you chem him up properly you power him up so he's gonna be really really good although his power move and finesse move are a little low for my liking he comes off to me as more of a run stuffer than a pass rusher if you look at his stats he's gonna be a great run stuffer actually but again with the way this year is looking it looks like it's the year of the blitz and the sack right now so i probably have to lean more towards a guy who can pass rush more so than a run stuffer and then there's guys like the marcus lawrence who can do them both so for that reason alone again i don't think he's a great car i think he's really good but I don't think I could recommend taking him over someone like, for Tyron Smith, I'd probably have to recommend Munoz or Joe Staley first. Joe Staley has the pricier, better bang for your buck option. And then Munoz as a whole is just a better card in general. And then Calais Campbell, obviously, I'd, I'd probably go Reggie White, Demarcus Lawrence, and a few others before I go him. Maybe even that Joey Bosa, I don't really know. Joey Bosa is never typically the best block shutter either, which kind of throws me off when it comes to run stuffing. I kind of like to have both. Although his finesse move is typically pretty good. Now. When I pick up any from my team, I'm going to show you guys real quick what I meant by that when you look at it real quick. So at left tackle, much I kind of have it locked up. Unless I pick up Munoz, I'll be sticking with him. And then with Calais Campbell, there's no room for him on this line. Let's definitely him at defensive tackle. He'd probably be a really good defensive tackle now that I think about it. That could be the move for Calais Campbell. Throw him in at defensive tackle, and he'll probably be one of the best run stuffers in the game. Because if you think about it, you compare him to Michael Pierce here, which isn't the best comparison because he's very, very low overall. He'll be just as fast. He'll be fast. He'll be faster for defensive tackle. And he'll be a way better run stuffer with decent pass rushing ability. So as a whole, he could be a great defensive tackle. But I don't really like playing people out of position. I'm not sure how that affects Mutt. I don't know if it lowers their awareness, which in terms could hurt your team as a whole. But I'm not sure how that works. I mean, I just don't like doing because it, it doesn't help your overall. And I like to typically have my overall reflect the team I have. Not that it's the biggest deal. It's obviously more of just uh, kind of like a petty thing to care about your overall more so. But as a whole, Calais Campbell probably won't be picking him up at defensive tackle i do want alan page though he's a beast so i'll probably waiting out for that guys but that is about it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like let's get this content video to 100 likes i have a 
Superstar KO gameplay coming. Prop. I don't know when I'm dropping it. I might be maybe 4:30. And then I also have a what to do in Madden with your coins video coming out around probably after this video. And then maybe something else depending on what I end up doing today. If the weekend league rewards drop, which I think they should be. I don't know when they usually drop. I forget. Is it 2:30? If they do come at 2:30, I will be making a video on that, which will push back everything. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.